as you put the here just now, it's not easy to represent uh, Israel nowadays uh, in the world, but also and especially uh, at the UN. Uh, indeed, being the Israeli representative uh, to the UN, I can attest that Israel uh, nowadays is a target of uh, relentless effort to politicize the legal process. Be it the Goldstone uh, report that is discussed uh, in Geneva, in the General Assembly, unfortunately not yet at the Security Council, or the warrants that are issued against the Israeli statesmen and generals in certain uh, European countries. War and warfare has been, in the past, treated by national and international law as pertaining to belligerent actions between disciplined armies. Such laws, enacted to regulate warlike activities, aim mainly at distinguishing between licit and illicit warlike operations, namely those carried out by armed personnel wearing uniforms and fighting against similar armies. One of the main objectives of uh, such laws pertaining to warlike activities is to minimize <coughs> unnecessary losses of civilian lives during and in the aftermath of wars. Such laws were enacted having in mind a certain level of symmetry. That which is illicit for one side to the war is also illicit for the other. Yet uh, nowadays, a new mode, a new kind of warfare is pestering our lives around the globe. The war against terrorism. This is a totally different kind of war. It is launched by concealed, yet heavily and deadly armed, plain-clothed people against unarmed, unsuspecting, and non-belligerent civilians. It is a war in which a few terrorists are capable of murdering thousands of civilians in one action as we saw not too many years ago. It is a war in which terrorists blend into civilian populations, exploit civilians as human shields, and use homes, hospitals, houses of worship, and dense urban environments to launch attacks, as we saw a year ago. This is a new asymmetric type of war. But the peculiarity of this new kind of warfare is not merely a question of asymmetry. The war waged by terrorists today is almost entirely a war waged by religious fanatics aiming against the values of democracy, freedom, equality, and progress. They sophistically use, or rather misuse, the rules of law and the open-mindedness in democracies to inflict the most murderous attacks on civilians. This new type of war creates challenges for democracies that combat terrorism while seeking to uphold the rule of law and respect for human lives. Asymmetric warfare has fueled the rise of this new phenomenon called lawfare, namely the exploitation or misuse of law for political ends. Alongside the problems regarding the laws of war and their misuse, there is another misuse of law on national level. And we've heard just now about it. Certain democratic states have extended laws regarding war beyond their territorial limits. These laws are grossly misused in an asymmetric manner by terrorist supporters as a political tool of lawfare. 
It is the political misuse of law that should be taken into consideration when reviewing international and national laws pertaining to war and human rights. Indeed, the law is always hoping behind events and social developments, but eventually it gets there. This conference and debate to follow will certainly promote new insights as to the appropriate use of international law in order to ensure its relevance and applicability in confronting the new threats. Thank you very much.